Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Right now, when we, the way we're living is not wise. It's foolish. Right. It's foolish. We kill each other. We leave our women to destitute. Our women disrespect us. Okay? Our women hold themselves out. They jump from man to man to man, and we jump from woman to woman to woman. We are a nation with no wisdom, but we are God's people, and we're supposed to dwell with wisdom. The nation's supposed to look to us as that light. We out here trying to wake our people up. We don't have to live like this no more. God is calling each and every last one of you. Right. But how many of you are actually going to answer the call? Read. And fools hate knowledge. What the Bible say? Fools hate knowledge. If all of you hate wisdom, if none of you will come here and incline that to us, God calls you a fool and you hate knowledge. <laughs> you hate knowledge. Hold on. Read. Turn you at my reproof. What does God say? Turn you at my reproof. This right here is love. This is correction. God says turn at his reproof. Come on. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. And he will pour his spirit out unto you. A lot of us like to call ourselves gods. But we're not gods. Not right now. But God said he will pour his spirit unto us if we incline our ear to his wisdom. Right now, when we, the way we're living is not wise. It's foolish. Right. It's foolish. We kill each other. We leave our women to destitute. Our women disrespect us. Okay? Our women hold themselves out. They jump from man to man to man, and we jump from woman to woman to woman. We are a nation with no wisdom, but we are God's people, and we're supposed to dwell with wisdom. The nation's nice supposed to look to us as that light. Come on. I will make known my words unto you. God said if you incline your ear to his reproof, he will make known his words unto you. Come on. Because I have called and ye refuse. All you brothers out here at the sound of our voice, right now God is calling you, but all of you are refusing. So God says, since he have called and you refuse, come on. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. All of you don't give a damn about what we out here for. God says, since he stretched out his hand, and no man regard, come on. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. You said you looked at this Bible like it was nothing. You looked at us like we were nothing. Come on. And with none of my reproof. You don't want to hear what this Bible say. Come on. I also will laugh at your calamity. God says the next time one of you brothers get murdered, he's going to laugh. Bring it out. Don't call for him. Because he's calling for you now and you refuse. But when you get hurt, when you get shot, you're going to be on that damn table crying to God. Lord, please let me live. Lord, please let me off this addiction. Lord, please, they after me. Help me. But you refuse the word of God when you had the chance to get it. You refuse the help when it was offered to you. When you was at a stronger state. Right. Body of strong constitution. Read. I also will laugh at your calamity. Come on. God I said he's going to laugh at our calamity. Why? Because we refuse the words of God. Come on. I will mock when you fear cometh. Come on. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Our destruction, that's when that next young man spin the block on us. Our destruction going to come as a whirlwind. Why? Because the word of God has been manifested unto us, but you don't give a damn. But all of you out here will say that you care about God, that you love God. We love God. No, you don't. No, you don't. If you love God, give me that.
John 14, 15. Yes, For all you brothers that say you love God, this is what God says. Read John chapter 14, verse 15. Read. If ye love me, keep my commandments. What did God say? If ye love me, keep my commandments. What did God say? If ye love me, keep my commandments. If you love God, you will keep God's commandments. Bring it out. You would take heed to the Bible. That's right. That's what you would do. First John 2 verse 3. Yes, sir. You need your brain washed. You need your brain washed from philosophy. That's right. From your dead state of mind. You need your brain washed. You're damn right on brain washed. Thank the Lord. Give me that. Ephesians 5 and 26. Hold that. Ephesians 5 and 26. Yes, sir. That brother said we've been brainwashed. You damn right. You damn skippy. All of y'all need your brains washed. You Ephesians did. chapter 5 verse 26. Read. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water. With the what? Washing of the water. What? By the word. By the what? By the word. By the what? By the word. All of you need your brains washed with the word of God. That's right. All of you need your brains washed with the word of God. First John 2 and 3. First John chapter 2 and verse 3. Come on. Hereby, and hereby we do know that we know him. This is how we know that we love God. This is how we know if we know God. Read. It ain't it, by, hold on. It ain't by us just saying we love God. No, white folks, they wrote the Bible. You don't know the Bible. Black men wrote the Bible. That's right. Christ is right. black. Right. The prophets are black. Right. We ain't out here teaching no Christianity. Christianity is garbage. Christianity is a slave religion. This Bible is your book. This book is your book. The slave master taught you that Christ was white. Right. God was white. That white men wrote the Bible. They didn't write a damn thing. They stole your history. Bring it out. They stole your book, and you're too damn simple to realize it. You've been put in a trap. You're trapped, and we try to get you out your trap. Read. And hereby we do know that we know him. Come on. If we keep his commandments. How do we know God? If we keep his commandments. That's how we know God. By keeping his commandments. Not just saying it. Isaiah 29 and 13. Yes, sir. What? I am talking about God. And God talking about you. Right. So we're going to speak God's word. Come on. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Read. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. What did the Bible say? For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. What do black people do? For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Oh, I love God. I love God. I know God. We draw near to God with our mouths full of lip service. Come on. And with their lips do honor me. You are the God with your mouth, but not with your body, not by your deeds. You are the Satan with your deeds. You are the white man by your deeds. You are the Arab man by your deeds. Come on. But have removed their heart. Far from me. You removed your mind far from God. You're full of lip service. Come on. And their fear toward me. Men and their understanding towards God. Really is taught by the precept of men. The white man taught you that he wrote the Bible. Right. The white man taught you that you was a nigga. The white man taught you that you was nothing. Right. You, hey, what you ain't, what you doing for your people though? What are you doing for your people to get out the trap? We're subject to payments because of sin. Read it. Give me that Baruch. Yes. You know what I want. Yes, he said, but we still spending our money with the white man, dog. We in slavery. Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day 
in our captivity. What the Bible say about the black man? We are yet this day in our captivity. God says we are yet this day in our captivity. Read. When thou hast scattered us. Come on, we've been scattered across the four corners of the earth through the transatlantic slave trade. Come on. For a reproach. For what? Reproach. For a reproach. That's why they call us niggas. That's why they call us porch monkeys. That's why they call us savages. That's why they call us coons. Bring it out. For a reproach. Come on. And a curse. And a what? And a curse. Now we living on the goddamn corner. Doing nothing. Read. And to be subject to payments. And to be what? Subject to payments. And to be what? Subject to payments. So you're right. I do spend my money into the white man because God put me on a curse to be subject to payments for breaking his commandments. Right. But I want to get out. How many of you want to get out? So what are we out here for? To bring light. Give me Isaiah 52. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 1. Read. Awake. Awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. God says, awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. All of you men are in a deep sleep. Come on. Put on thy beautiful garments. What is that beautiful garments? Repentance. God's commandments. Come on. O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised. No more shall the uncircumcised nation come and take advantage of you. This Arab man that owns this liquor store is taking advantage of you. And y'all don't see it. They're robbing you of your resources. That's right. All of your resources should be right here to build your community. To build better education for your sons and your daughters. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong enough.